Crazy Legs Conti, Coleman's Bar and Grill, another edition of Nibble. Um, was out window cleaning today and uh, came across a place called Ideal Cheese Shop. It's on like 51st and, and uh, 1st Avenue. So I picked up two things and uh, that'll be the nibble. A little tired, but I'll, I'll make it through. A little hungry. Uh, we've got some cheese. This is the Morbier. Uh, also known as day night cheese and we've got some interesting sausage or saucisson it's from Spain um, and it is uh, Ibertico I think I'm saying that wrong Ibertico sausage which are pigs I believe that are raised only on maybe figs and acorns so they have sort of a nutty woody taste they're supposed to be like the best pork in the world can't get it here in the US but apparently I guess you can make it into sausage and get through. The battery may die soon. Uh, Morbier cheese, one of my favorite cheeses because it's uh, day-night cheese separated by ash. I don't know if the cows go left to right. Um, I couldn't tell you which is the day and which is the night, but I'm going to say this is the day and this is the night. All of this fine cheese and sausage should really be accompanied by uh, some fine wine, or even mediocre wine. But I, I do not have any at the moment, so I'm going with the pairing of uh, orange Gatorade. Uh, orange wine, very popular, as in orange Gatorade, maybe not so much. All right, uh, let me just cut off a little of the sausage, try to get to this show before the um, battery dies on the camera, the Olympus TG-10. Right. Cutting it up, it's got a nice, very reddish color to it. A little pink, but mostly reddish. And I see some whole peppercorns in there. Um, let's turn our attention to the Morbier cheese. Cut a piece here, but I'm also going to divide it down the middle and see if we can tell a difference. Um, I'm going to leave the rind on. All right, we're still rolling. I think I go. To the, I should try the cheese first. I assume this is the day side. Maybe I'll cut the. I'm going to cut the rind off. I don't mind the rind on cheese, but I think if we're doing a day-night taste test, we should go. Pure. All right. So let's say this is the day. Mmm. Almost a little creamy, a little gummy, a little funky taste to it. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, very earthy, grassy. All right. Uh, let's try the night. Mmm. Mmm. Much different, much lighter, less viscous, less less gummy, a little more subtle. Delicious, though. All right, let's try them both together with the rind on. Mmm. Mmm. Really nice. I'm not going to sip the orange gator. I'm going to hold off because I want to follow that nice cheese taste with hopefully some earthy Spanish sausage. Ooh. Wow. Immediately the texture completely different. No real give. Almost creamy like a pate. Very clean, wonderful taste. Oh. It's almost as if you know when gin is so much different than any other spirit because it's got botanicals. You taste the coriander, or the juniper. I feel that this pork sausage from Spain mm, is the same. So distinctive. Almost hard to describe, but I get like a light, like spring vibe. Not that there's any. Uh, I don't know. Not that there's any greenery in here, 
but I mean really just a clean springy nice as some marbled fat um, the way you get a great aged porterhouse you get that taste off it which is meaty but also very buttery and mm, that is nice mm. all right I'm going back to the cheese and more of the sausage wash it all down with fine vintage of orange Gatorade um, Crazy Lakes Conti for nibble um, why nibble because a bite is not enough dinner is too much and nibble is just right mmm so good Morier cheese Iberico saucy some mmm good stuff